Hey, it's me, Robert, from Autoland Productions. Today, we're going to read another Eli the Snazzle Raffle book, the Friendship series. Only this one features a little cute guy down here. Whoop, 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 whoop. I can't do this. I, I really stink at this. Aaron the Acorn. He's really kind of cute, isn't he? He's cute. Anyway, so I just want to get to, to reading the story for you guys. So, ready? Here we go. He's Eli. The Snazzle Raffer Being your friend is all he's after He may be scary, may be frightening too But he only wants to be friends with you He's Eli Oh, 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 oh. The Snazzle Raffer Like I said yesterday, invigorating. Let's start our story. Eli the Snazzle Raffer, growing up. The sun was just peeking up over the trees as the birds started singing their bird harmonies. Eli started stirring up from his sleep, a sleep so refreshing, a sleep oh so deep, a sleep that was full of wonderful dreams. It was like they were real, or so they all seemed. Eli opened his eyes and he stared at the ground, because when Snazzle Raffers sleep, they sleep upside down. Their feet are locked over a tree limb or tree branch, and the thorns on their feet aren't there just by chance. The thorns keep them from falling. Not one ever fell. Not one Snazzle has fallen, and that's just as well. With their points and their thorns, they would stick in the ground, and a stuck Snazzle Raffer makes a very sad sound. Yes, if a snazzle raffer fell, in the ground he would stick. And to pry him free, you'd need a shovel or pick. But as I just stated, and as I will tell, not ever, no never, has a snazzle raffer fell. Eli grabbed the branch, and without making a sound, before you could blink, he was down on the ground. Today was a play day, so no raffer school. Today was a play day, but to play with who? I can go see my friend who helped find my mom. I can play with the raccoons who live by the pond. But I know, yes, I know who I want to see. I want to see Aaron before he turns into a tree. Aaron was an acorn, a cute little guy. He fell from a tree from way up high. His mother and dad were big, strong oak trees. And everyone knew that's what Aaron would be. But Aaron the acorn was very shy, and when someone walked by, he wouldn't even say hi. People thought he was mean, and they thought he was rude, and they all thought that Aaron had a bad attitude. But Aaron was scared. He was frightened a bit. So here on the ground is where Aaron would sit. He just sat and he played. He played all alone. He would sit and he'd sit till everyone went home. But there was someone he spoke to, someone he knew well. Someone who his secrets he could always tell. As Eli came round, he saw Aaron was there. And Aaron just smiled because he knew Eli cared. He cared about Aaron. Aaron knew right away that Eli was a true friend from the very first day. I know, I know, just what you're going to say. That I was supposed to start growing. Start growing today. Eli looked down and saw a small tear. Aaron was sad, and it was very clear. Aaron, my friend. Aaron, my pal. Your mom and your dad and your sister as well are waiting for you to grow into a tree. It's there with your family. You need to be. You know growing up really isn't that bad. It's what all of us do, from your sister to dad. It starts when you're born and you grow big and strong, and you learn lots of things as you travel along. But how will I move? And how will I play? I'll be stuck in the ground day after day. I can't come to your house. I can't jump in the pond. I can't play raccoon games. I can't swing on your arms. We all grow up. There's so much to do. Believe it or not, the world's counting on you. You'll give shade to the people who just want to rest. You'll give homes to the bees and the birds with their nests. You'll help clean the air and help people to breathe. You'll grow big and strong. You're just what the world needs. And I will come see you like I always do. 
because all of us change, and change is good too. Aaron looked up with his eyes oh so bright. He heard what was said, and it made it all right. So you'll still come and visit? We can still sing our songs? I guess you were right. This is where I belong. Of course I will visit. Of course I will play. But the games will be different as we grow day by day. Growing up is exciting. All the things that we'll know, like a friend is a friend, no matter where that friend goes. Friends just accept you for just being you. They stand by your side, because that's what friends do. Eli and Aaron forever is friends, because as the song says, friendship never ends. So Aaron grew tall, and Aaron grew strong, and Eli would visit, and they would sing lots of songs. Raccoons and birds all played round Aaron the tree, and the forest was better than better could be. Never the end. So, what'd you think? Not a bad start. And we all grow up. It's part of life. We all grow up. We become the people we're supposed to become. And you know how we become that? By learning. By learning, 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 making mistakes. That's okay, because you learn, you learn, you learn, you go bigger and learn and learn and learn. A <sighs> little tiring sometimes. But in the book, I referenced a song. And I'd like to play you part of that song. <clears throat> A friend and I were talking just the other day about the friends who lived right near us, the ones who moved away. They gone forever, but in my heart they stay. I miss all those friends every day. That is how it happened. How the story goes Well, you meet someone Become good friends And watch that friendship grow You share your toys With them, you sing some songs And then one day They move along But you hold them in your heart Each and every day the things they did, the way they laugh, the things they say. And then you're sad because your friend moved away. But friendship never ends. Because forever you'll be friends, yeah. Forever you'll be friends. Yeah. You know forever you'll be friends And I'm so glad to have my friend Well thanks for taking this time with me Or for me taking this time with you But that's what happens Because we're all growing up, right?